All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so last week was a very hectic and kind of a mentally draining week. Uh, so I apologize if I seem uh, kind of out of it uh, recording this video and stuff today. Uh, just because my brain is still a little bit fuzzy from everything else that was going on. Uh, so unfortunately I didn't get a chance last week to dive into the Haikyuu reaction and reviews. Uh, but thankfully the Haikyuu fandom is very good about tagging spoilers. Uh, or I was just really good about avoiding them last week. Uh, so I don't think I caught too many details about anything that happened in the chapter. Or if I did I just completely wiped it from my mind. So I think we're good to go. We're going to dive into this week with a double Haikyuu chapter, chapter reaction review. We're going to cover chapters 381 and 382. So without further ado, let's dive into Haikyuu chapter 381, Friend and Foe in the Same Boat. <laughs> and of course we have translation by Adrian Beck and lettering by Erica Tariquez. So we pick up where we left off the last time with the audience still in shock at Hinata's jump and his sick new moves. It's like, who's that? Holy crap, did you see him jump? And the announcer's like, wow, the first point of this game goes to Shoyo Hinata in his debut game. <laughs> oh, and off to the side, you have Tanaka Yamaguchi and Sugawara just losing, going, wow. You have Kation just be like, and uh, <laughs> you have Tsukushima just having this absolute look of disgust, being like, oh, can't believe he got that much better. And you have, uh, I don't know who those are, but you have two of the teammates going, well, the time is a lot faster now. So are you seriously telling me this guy with those kinds of hops besides Korra? And I was like, dang it, I feel, I felt getting that. And Bakudo's like, you wanted to bump that and stay on your feet? I'm shocked anybody could bump that thing at all. Good job. <laughs> and I was like, ah, thanks. And you see the announcer going from beginning to end. That really was, that rally was all Shoyo Hanada. First he made a spectacular bump, then he made a spectacular score off of it. And you see Ushijima just silently watching this. And he thinks back to the Miyagi Prefecture Annual Rookie Camp. Where Hinata asked him, Ushijima-san, what goes through your mind when you're doing digs? Ushijima just kind of looks at him silently. Looks off contemplatively and looks back and goes, what I'm doing for the next attack. And you can see him just smiling as he sees that Hinata's taken his lessons to heart. <laughs> Oh, and then you see Akashi-san, where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, and you have the little giant Tenma Udai 26 Karasuno grad manga creator weekly shonen via, via currently serializing zombie night Zombish, which is deadline looming. And he's looking just as scruffy as before with his, you know, long grown out hair, you know, bags under his eyes, looking like he's running on too little sleep. And you have Ashkashi just looking clean cut. <laughs> going, oh, I'm going to get rice balls from Onigirimiya. If I don't hurry, they might be sold out. I'm sorry, Tenma said, yeah, the game's already started, you know. And then uh, Tenma, Tenma's like, don't give me that. Well, of course, look, I wouldn't know. You have Keiji Akashi, 22, Fukurodani grad. And <laughs> editor with a weekly shonen manga magazine from a major publisher, though he actually wanted to be in the literature department. And you see Akashi going up to Atsuma Mia's uh, little onigiri stand as he's thinking to himself, mia sam And you have uh, Mia going, Fukuradani setter, I think. 
And he's like, Onigiri Mio's rice balls are very good. Do you still not have a Tokyo branch? And Mio's like, thank you, not yet. Uh, sorry, what am I looking at? Yeah. It's like, oh, sorry, uh, not yet. But we're still thinking about it. And you have uh, Osamu coming up to serve. And the cheerleader just going, bump, 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 as they're cheering. And he just looks around annoyed, just makes a fist. <laughs> and everyone just goes dead silent for his serve with a shiver. And you see a woof as the spike comes in and lands in the out. Referee putting up the flag. And he's like, ah! Atsumu's just like, ah, oh, lame. Tried way too hard to look fancy at the start. And Akashi's just like, ha 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 ha. And you see him going, you were dissing me right then, weren't you? I know you were. Shut your mouth. <laughs> and you see Osamu just looking at him from the court, just giving him the stare. Nakashi's like, oh no, sorry, Osamu's the one off the court. Mio's the one on the court. Like I said, my brain is so dead today. Nakashi's like, could he hear us? No, he could not in all this. Not in all this noise. Twin telepathy then? Frightening. So you have the announcer going, Atsumu Mia's serve was a mean one, but it lands just on the wrong edge of the sideline. And then you see for the Schweid and Adlers, Romero's coming up to swerve, coming up to serve, not swerve. He's rolling the ball in his hand, so he tosses it up to go for a jump serve. And you see for Agate doing another horizontal, gorgeous panel, as you see a foom, and he gets a service ace, as it lands right between Sakusa and Hanada, who are unable to react in time. And they both just stare back in excitement. It's like, there it is! Nicholas Romero does it again. He put that smack in the middle of those two. And you see the crowd just cheering, ace, 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 ace. And you have boom, 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 boom. And the answer is just like, and the first service ace of the day goes to Nicol Nicholas Romero, who just joined the Japanese leagues this year. One of the biggest names in Brazilian volleyball for years. There's no debating that he's one of the top players in the world. And you have Kageyama also just standing in shock and stunned that he got that service ace. <laughs> oh, and you see Hinata, Sakusa, Bukuno, and Mia... Atsumu just all fanboying over Romero's serve. It's like, oh, Romero's serve, the one we watched on TV. It's like all those years in the flesh. And you see that answer going, what a privilege it is to watch a world-class player do their thing right here in person. And you see Heitor going back in Brazil going, that's Nicholas for you. Watch out, Black Jackals, he's going to give you trouble. And you see Romero, second serve, as he goes swerve, swerve, roll the ball in his hands again. And he jumps off of the spike. And Hinata and Sakusa almost bump, in, bump into each other, running towards it. And Sakusa's like, mine! And he bumps the ball. And he is like, another nasty serve from Romero, but this time Sakusa gets under it. And you see them running towards the net. And you see a flashback to Atsumu Miya's second year high school. And you see, uh, and you have Osamu Mia, second year high school. Both of them just uh, back to back, sitting, uh, sitting back to back, you know, super grumpy at each other. Uh, and you have, uh, oh, huh, okay, what set the twins off this time? Like, apparently it's official now. Osamu's done with volleyball after high school. He's like, ah, that. Uh, and you have Osama going, I made up my mind a long time ago. I told myself I was going to get a job dealing with food and food service, and that was that. Who says the one who sticks with volleyball is the more successful one by default? Huh? I didn't pick this career out of some kind of compromise or because I didn't think I could make it. And he goes and grabs Atsumu by the jacket collar. He's like, if you're so dang confident, so dang sure you'll be the happier one, then come back when we're 80-year-old geezers. 
Wait until then to laugh in my face and say you are happier. And you can see Atsumu just glaring at him as he goes, Look at me now, Samu. I've got all these monster hit hitters dancing to my tune. I'm having the time of my life right now and you can't deny it. And then uh, Atsumu's like, Okay then, if that's the way you want to do it, you're on. He goes, when we're on our deathbeds, I'm going to turn and look you right in your face and say I had the happier life. He's like, should I get Kitakun? He's like, nah, they're fine. And then you have Atsuma going, this position, this timing, as he just sets the ball up beautifully, this angle, and you see his proud brother just watching from the sidelines. And he goes, perfecto. <laughs> oh yes you see Hinata going for a quick set as you see Atsumu having just popped the ball perfectly to him as Hinata's hand comes down and he spikes it between the Adlers before they're able to get up their hands up in time for a block and you see the crowd just reacting in complete shock you even see Romero just Completely surprised, and Hator and he's just blown away by this level of skill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, boy! And you see Kageyama just smugly sliding in to bump that ball. And you see Hinata just surprised and like a little bit of anger on his face. He's like, ah, oh, how the hell did he get that? And you see Atsumi just be like, ah, of course. And you see it land with a thump outside the court back on the jackal side. Kage was like, and then both uh, Atsumi and Hinata are like, whew. You can hear the hearts just going, ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Jeff, my goodness. Now here's a blast from the past. When Karasuno's notorious freak twins gave high school blockers everywhere fits, Shoyo Hinata and his blink and you miss it freak quake are back. And you have, what the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> and you see Hatro going, a ninja, he's totally a ninja for real. And you have Pedro just watching the match on his bed with his little screen going, ninja. And Bakuda's like, pure fear. Their first strike is always lethal. And you have Otsamu going, ha, what the heck is that? And then you have Kikutaru Masumoto, 42 Japan Volleyball Association Tournament Operations Department. Thinking back to uh, Fuki Hibarita when he was back, back during nationals going, in the case of that particular unique quick set, the fact that Atsuma can do it as well is proof to Shoyo Hanada that there are other setters out there who can deliver the ball to him at the speeds he can reach. That means that his unique quick set is not actually doomed to be unique, and wouldn't that be the best news he could hear? Love, love, love that callback. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> And you have Fuki just off to the side. She's going, <laughs> And you see even Tsukushima's finally uh, breaking out a grin. You see back to Hinata thinking, If I'm going to get a great setter and convince him to let me fly, then I have to get good enough to make it on those great teams. And you think him back to the match where Osamu tells, or sorry, Atsumu tells him, Shoyokun. And he's like, huh? Like, which is he as he's just wobbling with exhaustion. He's like, one day I'm going to set for you. So he and Kageyama just glare at each other across the net. They have, I remember now, it was the first time we played against Inorazaki. Hinata kun and Kageyama kun had just pulled off their free quick against them when the Miyatins turned around to the exact same thing back to us. And then you have Keishin being like, no, that wasn't exactly the same. And you have... <laughs> yes. You have Tsukushima just going, is it me or was that even faster? 
<laughs> yes. All right, we're diving straight into chapter 382 with Monsters on Parade. <laughs> yes. Oh, love this title. Oh, oh, yes, for Adate san, we thank you for this gift we are about to receive. As you see, the announcer going quick as a flash. Shoyo Hinata uh, sails that one right over the heads of the blockers. And then we have Akuteri Tsukishima, 27, works for a stationary company. And Seiko Tanaka, 27, works at a motorcycle shop. Captain of the Taiko group, disorderly crowd. And she is looking super gorgeous in that leopard print skirt with her leather jacket. Oh, man, she is out to slay today. Mmm, Furodate's feeding us real good. And Seiko's like, see, told you that Shoyu would turn into a good man someday. <laughs> and she's just slamming back a beer as Akitero's like, uh, how many have you had now? Maybe you should slow down. And he's like, the fact that she doesn't even look slightly tipsy makes it scarier. Oh, man. And Seiko's like, what's a girl have to do to maybe get a vendor to hang out in this aisle? I'll make sure it's totally worth their while. <laughs> oh, I would love to go on a drinking binge with Seiko. Oh, that would totally be worth it. And you see Akitri be like, oh, it's like, bro, boy. He's like, better buy hangover pills. Like, yeah, this is going to turn into an after game party. Then an after after party all the way until morning. I knew I should have offered to go help out Shimada at his booth. And you have, it was even faster? How do you mean? And Keishin's like, it's been a while since I last saw it, so I can't say for sure. The obvious part is that his max vertical jump has gotten significantly higher. But I think he must have also put some time into strengthening his leg muscles, boosting the power behind his jump. Basically, my impression is that he's both jumping higher and reaching the apex of his jump faster. And so you see just a little infographic of you have Hinata doing his dumb jump as you see him just leaping up into the air. And you have Yamaguchi being like, so he's completing his jump faster? And you see Korai just being like, yep, yeah, just what I accept, just what I expect from my rival. And you see him thinking back to Tsukushima yeah, saying, jumping higher means being in the air longer. Time your blocks the same way you do when you face a taller hitter and you'll start falling before he hits the top of his jump. And you have uh, Kyoko going, Hinata always did have good balance in midair, but now it looks like he hangs in the air longer than he used to. And he's like, right? And Tanaka's just so proud of his little kohai as he's just watching. He's just like, yeah. And you have dudes looking like Ushiwaka and Asahi-san did when they were on fire during a game. <laughs> And I love how you have it back and you see Ushijima and Asahi jumping. You see them kind of just arching their back as their arms are going up, ready to spike that ball with all their force. Ah, oh, just love that. You have Yamaguchi going, he's jumping higher, faster, and he's staying in the air longer? That'd be stupidly difficult to block. <laughs> And of course, you have Tsukushima with this shit-eating grin being like, Oh yeah, really difficult. And then you have the... Oh, I don't know who these people two are. I think it's the Adler's coach going, Uh, excuse me, what was that? And the Jackal's going, Wah ha ha ha! And you have the audience be like, Holy crap, who is that? Hang on, isn't it this guy? Shoyo Hinata, wait, what? He's only five foot seven? And then you see a giant clap as you see Bakudo just. <laughs> Bakudo walking around the court, just clapping his arms, trying to get everyone's attention. And you see Bakudo serve as you see the audience is getting into it with all his charisma, being like, yeah, bum, 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 bum. And you have the announcers going, ha ha ha, there he goes again. Kotaru Bakudo is encouraging the crowd to clap to his serve. And you have Akashi off to the side and be like, hey, hey, hey. Bakudo's like, okay world, cheer me on. 
You see him tossing up the ball for a jump serve. <laughs> As he lefts it off with a giant wham! High spirits bomb. And you see a Cora as Cora just falls on his butt, just bumping the ball, bumping the ball perfectly. And Hina is taken back, but it's like, oh, it's like I'm not the only one that's improved. And you have the crowd just be like, wah! And Cora is like, ha ha! All your cheers are now mine. <laughs> Makuta's like, oh, no fear! And then you see a foof as the ball gets set up. And you see Ushijima making his run up to the net. And you see Wakatoshi! And you see his power hasn't lessened at all. You see a giant wham! And the ball just slams onto the court and just goes careening off to the side. And yeah, boom goes Japan's biggest cannon, Wakatoshi Ushijima. And you have both Hinata and Bakura be like, eep! And you have one of the players on the Jackal side be like, ow, it's like, uh, uh. Oh, I think he just took the full. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so Inunaki. Inunaki took the full force of Ushijima's spike right onto his chest and slammed off into the side. Oh, I do not envy him having to have taken that blow. And you see him on his knees, which is being his chest like, ah, oh, like sting, stings, like, ow, ow, ow. And Jao yeah, off to the side of the chain, Wakatoshi! You know, Seiko just be like, ah, that Ushiwaka. And was like, I heard that from here. And you see the announcer going, he bounced that one right off Inunaki the, Liber the Liberio. Uh, the Libero, sorry. I apologize again. Brain dead today, I cannot read properly. He goes, that he did his strength, the, li the Libero. That he did. His strength is on par with the strongest in the world. You have the cheerleaders off to the side, be like, nice spike, nice spike. And you have... <laughs> Washijo off to the side, be like, looks like Wakatoshi's polished his jump height and hidden strength to an even finer gleam. And you have Tarano Washijo, 79, and she's like, yes, isn't it just so beautiful to watch? And he's like, hmm? He's like, it sure is. And you see, boy, everyone is so impressive with all their amazing power spiking. And you see Hirogami serve as he jumps up to do a jump serve as well. It's like, oh, I so hate how he tends to serve right on the whistle. And you see a boom. You see Hinata just reacting like, hmm, as the ball just comes this close to his face. And the last minute he just barely managed to bump it with an overhand bump. And then uh, Sugawara's like, blinking is right in your face. And Asahi's like, okay, I'm scared of every single server in the rotation. <laughs> Daichi's like, you can say that again. Their level, I wouldn't be shocked if you told me they'd won a whole game on serves alone. And you see, uh, you see Atsumu going off, uh, setting the ball, as he goes, Omi oh, could left. And the announcer goes, and Sakusa swoops in from the left. It's like, three, triple block. And you see this triple block failing as he manages to nail a straight shot, line shot, straight through, right beside the blockers, straight towards Kageyama. And Kageyama's like, and as Kageyama's getting ready to bump it, he and Hinata are both thinking, got it. Then you see him reacting in surprise, the ball bumps off him and flies off to the side with a tump. Oh what I thought oh. all right so there you go there's a reason Kiyo Kiyomi Sakusa was the college MVP his first point is a line shot so sharp you cut yourself on it and you're like geez Omi Kun that was gross just gross Sakusa's like excuse me it's like it's a compliment really He's like, well you sure made it sound like an insult it's like wait a sec Kageyama Wait a sec, Kageyama looked like he was in exactly the right spot for that. I thought he had that one dead on. And then uh, Akashi's like, yes, but this is Kiyomi Sakusa. His most outstanding quirk is his abnormally flexible wrist. Alright, sorry, I don't know if you heard the bell, but I had to quickly go answer the door for a second. 
<sighs> so we have Akashi going his most outstanding quirk is his abnormally flexible wrists. You have Tenma being like, oh yeah, I caught a glimpse of his warm-ups. Those did look pretty freaky. Ugh. So you see Sakusa kind of just bent over, doing the pose like this, and he's just like bending his wrist backwards like this. Ugh. And you see Hinata and Bakuno just watching in fascination. And Sakusa's like, stop staring. And Kuro's like, oh, I could watch this all day. And you have uh, Hinata going, the way those tuck under is kind of like an animal tucking its paws. And you have with the snap he can get, not only can you make all sorts of precise shots, he can also put the nastiest spin on that ball. And you see him after he's done that spike where his arms has gone like this and his wrist is just bending to an abnormal angle and you see the ball just spinning. And you have Osatsuma going, if we're talking hate to dig him shots, the spin he puts on him is even grosser than Ushiwaka's southpaw spin. And you have Hinata just staring and Glee just like, oh, I'm so excited. Saka's like, stop staring. And you see him and Kagawa just exchanging glares again. And you have, it's the lot of them, the whole lot of them. They're all nasty. <laughs> And you have Kage and just looking pleased as punch. He's like, ha, ah, you shake that ball, bro. What are you smirking for? And you have Akira Kunimi, Aoba Josai grad, college senior, starting work for 11th Bank next year, Miyagi. And you have Yutaro Kindaichi, 22, Aoba Josai grad, college senior, starting work as an electrician next year, Saitama, Tamaden Elephant's middle blocker, V League Division 2. Oh, if this means my boy Aikawa's coming back. Oh, please tell me that's what's happening. But we get to the end of the chapter. And I guess now we see why Aforidate was holding back on Cho and Sakusa playing because he wanted to hide the reveal of, you know, his abnormal wrists and his weird ass techniques. Oh, all right, so these two chapters were just full of, uh, I want to say it was full of fan service because we're kind of just getting, we're getting the back and forth. We're kind of getting to see, if, we're for it, just kind of slowly easing us into the match and being like, all right, we're going to slowly see, you know, what exactly all these players are capable of, you know, what their specialities are. We're going to see how much they've evolved since we saw them way back in Nationals. And I feel like from here, Fortnite is going to start slowly ramping it up in complexity. Once he, once we kind of get introduced to everyone, kind of see what kind of plays they do and how they interact and everything on the court. So I really do appreciate that rather than kind of just getting right in smack into the middle of it and starting off with these super complex plays. We're instead kind of just getting these service, not, I don't want to say service aces, we're kind of just get seeing them exchange points back and forth as they're testing each other out to see what they're capable of. It's just, oh, I love it so much. I love seeing all the favorite characters coming back and kind of seeing, you know, where they're at now. Uh, I know there's a lot of fan favorites still that a lot of people are wondering, you know, what Furodate is saving them for. Uh, because we still haven't seen uh, Nishinoya from Karasuno. I still want to know what Oikawa's been up to uh, after he left with, after he met with uh, Hinata in Brazil. I want to see all these other characters and see what they're up to. And uh, I do appreciate that Furodat is kind of finding that balance in these last few chapters of introducing new characters, introducing new characters, reintroducing old characters, and also kind of focusing on the match and kind of blending that together all so seamlessly because I feel like a lot of other series or authors kind of have to find a hard time balancing all these disparate elements together and bringing them together as well as Furodate san has done without letting the hype or the excitement or the pacing of the manga go down. But they're absolutely nailing. I cannot wait for the next chapter to see where the excitement of this match goes. 
Until next time, this is Ash. I will talk to you all later.